Hey everybody, it's GED question of the daytime and we are looking at another line graph looks like. Um, let's take a look. It says an adult education program is examining their attendance from three sites in order to look for trends in attendance over the semester. Wonderful, okay. About how many times more students attended the first class in Prescott than attended the 10th class in Prescott? Okay, great. So, um, Whenever I have a word problem, this might have a graph, but you can see it's clearly a word problem. I want to look first for where I'm going. What am I looking for? And I can see that phrasing here uh, about how many times more students. How many times more students. Okay, so that's the thing I'm trying to figure out. How many times more students. Now, I need my data. Now, here's the problem. In this word problem, I don't have my data. It says how many times more students attended the first class in Prescott? Well, I don't know how many students attended the first class in Prescott. Time to go to the graph. Okay, so on my graph, got a few different lines here, and I don't know what they mean until I see my key down here at the bottom. And I can see, according to my key, the Prescott class is in blue. So I'm just going to pay attention to the blue line. And I want the first class in Prescott. So down here I have class number, and I see the first class coming up to here. It looks like the first class in Prescott, I had just over 30 students. I'm not even halfway to 35. I'm going to call that 31 students. At about 31 students. Now, I know that's not a perfect number because I pulled it off of a graph. You're like, maybe it was 32. Yeah, notice this language about. I had permission to approximate already. So 31, 32, that's cool. Okay, so about how many times more students attended the first class in Prescott than attended the... 10th class in Prescott. Okay, so Prescott again, so I'm still blue. Now let's look at this 10th class. Looks like at the 10th class I had about 16 students. Just over 15. So I'm asking you about how many times more is this than this. Now what I have too many students do, they do it wrong. They go, oh look, I know how many more, and they subtract. And if you just subtracted these and told me 15, or 16, depending on what your numbers were, you would be wrong. Because notice my phrasing here. I don't say how many more students. I have this really important word I flipped, slipped into here. How many more times or how many times more students attended the first class in Prescott than attended the 10th class in Prescott. I'm asking you, 31 is how many more times? times 16. 16 times about what? Now I gave you permission to approximate so you can guess. Well, how many 16's are there in 31? Well, if I added 16 and 16, that would give me 32 already. So it looks like there's about two 16's inside 31. Again, permission to approximate, about. So how many times more students? Two times more students. And that is a question that tricks a lot of GED students. Watch out for that trick. Great. If you have any questions about this, be sure to drop them in the comments.